especially since it's gonna be so hard. So it's been almost 10 weeks since we lost Braxton and I've taken some things out of the hospital bag that I packed that I needed but there's still some things in here and I'm filming this because it's gonna be really hard to unpack the bag and I just feel like by filming this it's like I'm not doing it alone I'm doing it with you mom so oh, something that I took out seeing if there's a bird something that I took out let me grab it this board is something that I had packed in my bag it was something I packed at the like one of the last things that I packed and it's just one of these cute little boards and I had planned I had planned to take a picture of Braxton his birth picture with this this is the real information now but I had predicted if you saw my um, my nursery tour video my prediction was that he'd be born on I think September 9th um, yeah so there's a lot of things I regret <laughs> From when I gave birth to him one of them was not taking a birth picture with with this and him gosh I can't talk <laughs> oh well I should show you my bag because when I was getting my hospital bag ready I was watching tons of YouTube videos and there was this youtuber who had her son probably like a month before Braxton was born I saw her hospital bag video and she had this one and I thought it was so cute. I was like, I have to get it. It still has the tag on it. So I got that. And then I also went on Amazon and I got all new little like toiletry bags. This one it has like cute little ice cream. Everything I have here is like brand new. Oh, the bird is back. <laughs> I love seeing the hummingbirds. Aww. Okay, focus. And then this one too. I had like all my toiletries ready. Oh my gosh. I seriously like had everything prepared. This is cocoa butter for my belly. <laughs> like a brand new toothbrush and everything. And it's like so ready. Just some leggings. <laughs> this shirt I used to love wearing when I was pregnant. I used to love wearing this and going to Target all the time. <laughs> I knew this was going to be hard to do. This was a dress that another YouTube mom suggested. She wore one like this when she took her baby home. Because um, it's easy to breastfeed. And by the way, I didn't even use any of this stuff. Um, Jonathan had my hospital bag like in the trunk. But I think that... We had just found out that Braxton passed away, so I think that he didn't want to make me more emotional by, like, bringing the bag in and seeing everything. So, I showed up to the hospital to give birth to Braxton wearing just a shirt and sweats, and that's all I took with me. And I left the next day wearing the same shirt and sweats. This dress sucks. <laughs> I actually ended up wearing it too. Braxton's viewing so that sucks <laughs> and then I had just packed this bag to put dirty clothes in it I guess I think I overpacked I bought this cute blue robe and these matching slippers to wear I didn't use any of this stuff but this robe I was so excited about because it's so soft and I wanted everything to be blue because I was having a baby boy yeah so a lot of stuff that I packed and picked out were because I had um, breastfeeding in mind. So, and it's not just things that I would randomly find at the store on Amazon. I would just research like um, breastfeeding friendly tops or like comfy PJs after birth and stuff like that. So I chose this, it still has a tag, this cute PJ set to wear after giving birth to him. So that way it would be easy for me to breastfeed him. 
And I never got to breastfeed her. <laughs> but you guys know, like, my milk came in, so. Oh, this is another top. I don't know what, I just brought all these clothes. This was another top that I bought, and this was to breastfeed also. It has, like, goes like this, and then this part goes up so you can breastfeed. I keep looking over because I want to see if the hummingbird is back. Um, fuzzy socks to wear. Oh, I had like <laughs> a pack of these granny panties. And then the breast pads, whatever they're called. You know what I had? I had in my bag also um, a lactation cookie <laughs> as a snack. I think Jonathan probably threw it away so that I wouldn't see it, so that I wouldn't come across it. Um, yeah, I was like so afraid that I wouldn't be able to breastfeed or anything like that. I was nervous so I thought I would pack a lactation cookie just in case I got hungry after giving birth and it would help me feed Braxton. Um, oh, this is one of the, I was so excited to use this. Um, it's a breastfeeding cover. So I thought just in case like my dad was in the room or something, but it's also um, a cover for the car seat, which is back here, and it's just, I have like his books and stuff like that in there. I feel like uh, a lot of stuff is missing. Oh, I had a pack of 17 hair ties. <laughs> Mommy today. <laughs> this is like my biggest regret. <laughs> my biggest regret was not wearing these when I gave birth to Braxton. <laughs> and I just feel so guilty that I didn't wear them. <laughs> I just <laughs> It says, labor socks, cozy feet until we meet. I'm going to be a mommy today. <sighs> so, I guess that's everything. <sighs> I guess I should have taken these out first because... That really stings. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry, we're redoing. Well, if you watch this, thank you. Um, I feel a little better. I feel like I faced one of my fears, which I have lots of them now. Um, <gasps> hey, hummingbird is back. I love that feeder, it makes me excited. I honestly feel like Braxton sends the hummingbirds to me, um, just to make me smile. Um, thanks for watching this video, if you made it this far. Um, and hopefully my next video will 